Hello everyone and welcome to HSPLS Creates. I'm Miss Amy, a librarian here in the Hawaii State Public Library System. Today we are going to create a watercolor resist painting. You will need a newspaper or paper to keep under the painting to keep the table from getting stained or dirty. Then we will need a blank white sheet of paper, a small cup or bowl, a watercolor paint set, and finally a white crayon. Okay, so now that we have all the supplies, we can get started. So first we're going to get the white sheet of paper and the white crayon, and then we're going to start drawing or white writing something on the paper. You can draw or write whatever you want, but today I am going to draw some flowers. So when you are drawing, make sure that you push down hard and go over it several times with the crayon, otherwise it may not sh show. The watercolor resist painting works because the crayon is made out of wax, which is water resistant. So when you paint over the paper with the watercolor paint, it kind of resists or ignores the crayons. So therefore you can see the crayon despite the fact that you're painting over it. Okay. So it's going to be hard to see what you are drawing because you're drawing with a, on a white sheet of paper with a white crayon. But just try, just try your best. Okay, so now I'm going to open the watercolor paint set. This is actually missing a lot of paint. I'm going to go choose a color and dip that brush into the small cup or the bowl filled with water and then make sure that you put enough water in the paint set so that you can paint. You can see that at first I don't have enough water in the paint so it doesn't really paint well. So if I add more water, then it works much better. You can see it flows a lot better when you add enough water. So you can see the paint, the flower is forming. You can see some part of the flower shows up better. That's the part where I used more, I pushed on harder with the crayon so it shows up better. So don't forget to push down hard and go over it several times with your white crayon. Okay, so I'm done with the pink, so I'm gonna dip the brush back into water to clean the paint the pink paint off the brush and I'm gonna choose a different color. And I think I will choose blue this time. So I'm gonna start painting the second flower blue. You can see I need more water again. So the second flower doesn't show up as nicely as the first flower, but it still looks okay. And now I change the, the water color again, so this time I'm going to use green for the grass. Okay, so I'm just filling in the bottom portion of this painting. It's starting to show up, you can see the final products. So make sure that when you're doing this, once you're done, you can leave the paper to dry, and then after it's dry, then you're done. And there you go, you finished painting. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have fun making your own watercolor resist painting. Thank you, and bye.